Well, we're taking you live now to Grenoble Hospital in France, where doctors are giving an update on the condition of Michael Schumacher. The retired seven times Formula One world champion has been in a critical condition with head injuries after an off piste skiing accident yesterday in the French Alps resort of Meribel. Doctors just uh, beginning this news conference. The 44-year-old German has been operated on for the second time during the night, according to German media reports. They're not uh, as yet confirmed, but maybe the doctors will give us some more details now. Mr. Schumacher was taken to the hospital center in Grenoble yesterday. When he arrived, he had a head trauma, a serious head trauma with a coma. And this required an, a surgical intervention. He's been in a critical condition ever since. I'll let the doctors talk to you about his condition. Mr. Schumacher had a serious head trauma yesterday when he was admitted. He, his neurological state deteriorated very rapidly. He was transported by helicopter to Grenoble Hospital. When he arrived, we realized that he was in a serious condition. He was in a coma. The cerebral scan that was done then showed that he had several bruises inside his skull. So we operated on him in order to reduce the internal pressure on the brain. But we saw, unfortunately, that there were other hemorrhages in his brain. I let Professor Paya tell you more about it. Well, just to uh, add to what my colleague has just been saying, I would say that this accident happened at high speed. He was treated very rapidly. He was operated as soon as he arrived after a cerebral scan, and his state has been critical in terms of tous les traitements qui sont à l'heure actuelle recommandés sont mis en œuvre reanimation and all the treatments that have been recommended have been put into practice so far de michael we can't say anything about what's going to happen next voilà mesdames et messieurs ce que nous souhaitions vous dire pour le moment so this is uh, all that can be said at the moment. So we really don't know uh, a lot more. We're just wondering if the doctors are going to take any questions. The doctors being asked whether Michael Schumacher is in an artificial coma. Yes, he's having treatments that are aiming to, to limit the reaction to the cerebral bruising. Cette montée, cette élévation de pression intracrânienne. That will reduce the intracranial pressure. We want to reduce this pressure. Sa situation est critique, est jugée critique, oui. His situation is, is considered critical. Uh, a report is asking, yes, that's confirmed. Was he only operated on once? Yes, only once. So that uh, contradicts those German media reports. 
Doctors being asked whether the surgery went uh, without any complications. And uh, the doctor's saying he doesn't want to talk about the consequences of that at the moment. We're just talking about the treatment. Uh, we're working from one hour to the next. Will he have uh, permanent injuries? The doctors are being asked, and the doctors are saying they really can't speculate on, on the situation. We're just sticking to what we saw on the scan. He is in a critical condition. He can talk about medical. Uh, uh, français, c'est-à-dire que uh, il est en réanimation, sa condition est jugée About, uh, très sérieuse. It's a very serious situation. Je, je peux pas me prononcer là-dessus. Notre équipe uh, avec les. Can't say any more at the moment. Our team. Uh, the whole team of neurosurgeons is working. 24 hours a day. It's too early to give a forecast at this stage. We'll give you news as, as soon as we uh, think that it's useful to do so. We think that Given the, the violent impact, his helmet did partially protect him, of course. Somebody who wasn't wearing a helmet would have certainly died. Oui, c'est possible. C'est possible. He's being, the doctors are being asked about uh, Michael Schumacher's family, and uh, the doctors say we, we are in, in talks, we're in touch with the family, they're here right now from what we can see. There's no new surgery being planned. <coughs> Still, the doctors saying they can't really give more details about the actual extent of the, the brain injury. Is it a common accident, uh, they're asked? Unfortunately, yes, it is. We've uh, said a lot about the fact that uh, you really must wear a helmet while you're skiing in order to protect the head area and the spine area. And we're used to working on such cases with the neurosurgeons. Unfortunately, it is quite frequent, quite common. Obviously, the helmet was not enough to protect him, but the speed of the impact, it must have been really high. No, dans la mesure où uh, de sa prise en charge à Meribel jusqu'à Moutier, à Moutier, il a été effectivement pris en charge sur un. From the time that he was tout à fait first looked after at Meribel, the, the resort where the accident happened, to the time that he was taken to the first hospital, Moutier, and then to the hospital in Grenoble. Avec l'ensemble des centres. Dans notre région, puisque nous avons the procedure was très bien. very Donc, well followed. We de, de et have a very organized procedure. Pas joué un rôle majeur dans With only very short stops, taking a few minutes, and that didn't have an impact on the evolution of his condition. Do you think the sponsors are going to arrive, doctors are asked? Well, right now we have no information on this topic.
Just a few questions now for Professor Gérard Saillant. Now, this is a very famous neurosurgeon who's also a friend of Michael Schumacher's, and he arrived at the hospital yesterday under police escort from Paris. Very honestly, I have to tell you that I came here not as a doctor but as a friend, so I won't answer any technical questions. My colleagues have already answered those very well. As a friend, I want to say that I'm here to help. Schumacher, I want to thank the nurses and the paramedics as a friend and as someone who's close to the family. What state are you in now? The professor's being asked. I'm worried, so is his wife, so are his children. We're all worried by his condition. The doctors don't want to say any more because they can't tell you any more. They're working hour after hour. And it's that's the only way they can make decisions. Ce genre d'accident chez quelqu'un qui a 70 ans, eh bien, il le supporte moins bien que chez quelqu'un qui a 45 ans. Et this type of accident is more dramatic for a 70-year-old. It's better for a sportsman, but we still don't know if that's going to be enough. Alors, il est, il est en, en hypothermie qui est thérapeutique, c'est-à-dire qu'on le Schumacher contrôle sa température corporelle pour la maintenir entre 34 et 5 degrés selon les recommandations dans ce type de euh, hypothermia. We're maintaining his temperature. Il est, euh, il est euh, sous anesthésie. Doctor saying that uh, Schumacher cannot breathe by himself at the moment, he's anesthetized in order to reduce any stimulation linked to care that could make him consume more oxygen in his brain. Our aim is to reduce any external stimuli and to ensure a good oxygenization of his brain. I think you can understand that with respect for the family, I won't go into details. I told you they are serious injuries, but I won't go into any details. No. Uh, we can't evaluate the speed of the accident at the moment, but from what we've been able to observe, despite wearing a helmet, he arrived with serious injuries. So it, it, the shock, the impact must have happened at high speed. What was seen at first was an impact on the right-hand side. Was he conscious, the doctors are asked. That's an important point. He was agitated. He wasn't able to answer questions. He was moving, but he wouldn't answer questions that a, a normal person would have been able to answer. Um. It's difficult to say more. We're working hour after hour. We're trying to gain time. We're, we're trying to save time. We know what treatments to put into place or what we expect from these treatments. But right now, I can't tell you any more. And I can't tell you what the forecast is. We wanted to let you know today about his current condition, but we all agree 
on the fact that we won't go beyond this type of information. We won't go any further. We won't go as far as saying what's going to happen next because it's too early to say so. There's no generalizations. There is as many different outcomes as there are injured patients. It's a serious skull trauma. Non, je, je, je vous ai dit l'essentiel vraiment de ce qu'on a fait, chirurgiens et médecins. The main things that could threaten the situation. I've explained what we do as doctors, as surgeons, about the critical situation he's in, and I won't go any further. Une situation critique. Mainly the doctors here being pressed by journalists to give more details, and it's clear they, they really are unable to or unwilling to do so. So, not really reassuring news there about Michael Schumacher. We don't know a great deal more. His condition remains critical. The, uh, the seven times Formula One world champion has been in that condition uh, since his off piste skiing accident yesterday in the French Alps resort of Meribel. And uh, we'll keep you obviously informed about the, the evolution of his situation right here on Euronews. Stay with us.